oh shit. It's Dream Daddy. We're at the school. We're still we're we're helping we're helping Damien out with uh Lucian. Mm. Lucian pulled some shit at school. Oh, fucking Lucian we're here for backup. Damien and I walk into the school and are immediately greeted by an anxious looking Hugo. Hey. Uh there's like my shitty bird's You're, accent. Yeah. Hey Damien. You're here in record time. <laughs> like Idris Elba at English. <laughs> I Wait, wouldn't... isn't he English? Yeah, but he's like, he's not art. He's not royal though. I'm oh, using like the oh, royal okay. accent Sorry. that like the queen would use. <laughs> I was like, oh, you sound like Idris Elba doing his English accent. Yeah, like, he's from London. No, like <laughs> yeah, he's got like a he's got like a South London accent or something like that. Whereas I'm like I'm using yeah, like you use like the royal. royal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, of course. I, I thought wouldn't... you were suggesting that Idris Elba wasn't an English No. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure he's from England. <laughs> Let's just start the conspiracy theory. <laughs> Idris Elba faking it. Yeah. You ever seen Idris Indri- Elba and the Queen in the same room? No? <laughs> What's that all about? Anyway. Um, I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem like this is Hugo and Damien's first time to the My Kids Are in Trouble, Rodeo. Huh. What is it this time? Hmm? This Damien... You have to see to believe. I Damien and I fall in step up. behind Hugo. I love how Hugo hasn't been like, oh, hey, Norbert, like, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Who leads us through the busy corridors of the school. We pass by several classes in session today. I vaguely wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually ushers us into the small boiler room with a flight of rickety stairs leading down into darkness. Uh. Watch your step. Uh. Is he bringing us to the torture chamber or something? Yeah. I can hear faint voices drifting up from the basement, and they don't sound so happy. As I'm led into the depths of the school, I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I had enough sense to stay in the creepy basements. Uh. Oh, it's these two. What the fuck? We find another teacher in a boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lernus, uh, Lucian and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucian has a bloody nose. Uh, thanks for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. What happened here? Ernest punched me. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot we did like a Blink-182 Sorry, accent. We're, we're for not going to do that. I, I, I wanted to do that once. <laughs> yeah. Lucian tried to kill me. I, the room falls silent. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. You promised me there was, uh, you promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me. Why do you want wine? Aren't you, like, yeah. 12? That's, I got kind of fucked up, because, uh, uh, beer, you know? Yeah, right, yeah. Vex coolers? <laughs> like, <laughs> You told me there would be nice hard lemonade down here. <laughs> <laughs> you told me there would be Black Fly Long Island iced tea down here. <laughs> Buddy, you promised me with all the, oh, God, what the fuck is the, um... Twisted teas. <laughs> you, you said you had a pack of Twisteds down here, man. You told me there would be some some Summers Bee down here. <laughs> some Blackberry Summers Bee. Uh, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try to cast of Am- Jesus. Amontillado? Amontillado? Ernest? I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I turned to Damien and whispered to him, What's, uh, what's... What's a cask of Amontillado? It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, lures him down to his cellar with the promise of wine and of a fine vintage, then buries him alive behind a brick wall. Huh. So that is exactly Literally what's here. Literally what he was trying to do. It's a lovely story. Huh. No, it's not. So, wait, Lucian, you, you tried to do that to him? I was curious to see how it would turn out. Uh, I wasn't actually going to leave him there. What's the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you slowly built a tomb? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Well, it worked for like 20 minutes because he's an idiot. But then he realized I had lied about the wine. And you were cackling maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. I don't have his voice figured out we'll at all. Out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Ernest. 20 minutes? <laughs> Dad. Huh? It took you 20 minutes. Son, we just did an entire two-week unit on the cast of Al Monte Aldo, and it took you 20 minutes to realize Lucian was leading me <laughs> into an elaborate ruse? Did you even read the story? Wow. Wow. That's you. Um, I read the first five pages and read a review of the movie. Hmm, getting some deja vu here. It's only five pages long, and there is no movie. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I pay Lucian to read it for me. How are you not a stoner? Like, why are you characterized as a drunk? Like, look at you. Yeah. 
Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. Wow. Damon and Hugo both have their heads in their hands. <laughs> I, I don't blame them. You guys are always telling me to engage in the literature, and I did. I don't see a problem here. You, like, the people do this to their sims. Like, this is what, this is what <laughs> people do to, like, virtual characters. All right, I'm filing this under what the hell. <laughs> don't do whatever that was again. You <laughs> both are suspended for a week. God damn. Ernest and Lucy at high five. The teacher stands, uh, starts to stomp up the stairs. Here you go. I'll cover your class. Go take your son home. Mr. Bloodmarsh, you too. Thank you for your mediation. Weird faceless man. We all head up the stairs and out of the school in a tense silence. How did you learn about this fucking basement? Dad, why is Amanda's dad here? Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Were you fucking him, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Lucy and Damien and I pile into my car uh. and begin to drive home. Lucien immediately puts his hood up and stares at the window angrily. Why would we get in my car? Be Isn't Hugo's car here? He works here. No, L Lucien. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Damien and Norbert went to the school together. Okay, I, I thought it said Hugo as well. No. I didn't realize it was just the two of us. Okay. Yeah. I thought Hugo was... Three of them, technically. It would be weird if Hugo was getting in the car. Yeah. Why don't you go to your car, Hugo? Yeah. Like, didn't you drove <laughs> didn't to Didn't you drive school? to work today? Yeah. I'm not going to therapy again. Oh, uh, well, therapy's great, man. Oh, I don't dear. know about all that. Oh, oh, man. This is embarrassing. I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. But I care about you, and I see that you're struggling. So if you do decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that, too. Hmm. Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job, hmm? I know how much you want your own car. I can't believe Damien is keeping his cool. I'm impressed. Well, yeah, he's I, in, I he's in front of you. I that's would keep point. my cool until I got home, and then I would freak the fuck out. That's a good point. Yeah. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. Mm. I love you, son. Aw. Mm. Lucy and Katera staring out the window. Love you, too. Wow, this is complicated. Right? <laughs> this is a very yeah. nuanced relationship they yeah. have here. We spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. Wow. The moment we pull into the driveway, Lucian hops out of the car, slams the door, and runs inside. Wow, that's my car, dude. Come on. <laughs> I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have a lot we need to work out. It's all right. I mean, all things considered, Lucian's bricklaying was pretty good, so uh, there's your simple learning. <laughs> there is that, yes. He can fix your gargoyle. He's <laughs> going to go through a phase. Really how you handle I really want to say this one. Yeah. 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 You were a lot more diplomatic than uh, with him than I would have been. I just want what's best for him, and I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. Man, what a good parent. Wow. It rarely does. You're a good dad. See you around soon? Oh my god. It would be my honor and my pleasure. Damien bows with a flourish. Classy. Huh. That was really interesting. Wow, that ended up being like way better than yeah. I thought it was going to be. Something else that I really like about this game so far is that it's also just about like parents supporting each other yeah. as a community yeah. it's kind of like a utopia for how you wish that like every <laughs> single parental community within one school would operate instead okay. of one person being like 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 big little lies if any of you have watched big little lies know that that is a fucking nightmare of course because there's like no this isn't a spoiler really but like it's it's more realistic in the sense that like every parent is just looking out for their own kid right and isn't thinking about the community as a whole and what's best for everybody around them but when that's really what needs to be that. considered exactly yeah they're more interested in pointing fingers little, little bit little big truths yeah <laughs> yeah yeah this is like a utopia um <laughs> talking about uh, before you brought up the big little eyes damien um his parenting right i was gonna say at some point, though, this game has to have conflict. Yeah. I, I still think we're yeah. in the early stages. Yeah. Like, there's going to be conflict. Like, it's sense it. We're also picking very good answers. Like, we could yeah. say things that could potentially upset people. It's true. It's but true. we keep picking the right answers because we're smart. I mean, Damien didn't like that we trashed his gargoyle. Fair. Yeah. That was pretty visceral. Yeah. But okay. I come home We didn't find... exactly make that choice, though. No, yeah. yeah. We, we couldn't fix it. It was no. hard. Yeah, it was it was, hard puzzle. I don't know. I don't think you can do that. I come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. I plop down next to her. Yo. What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. These TV shows, man. I oh, know. my God. I love them. Oh, I hate this show. The couple on screen bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made out of recycled bottles. <laughs> the tiny house hunting brothers watch them with amused expressions, both of their heads touching the low ceiling. <laughs> I told you I wanted a two-bed, two-bath, shabby-sheet cottage! This house doesn't even have a bathroom! But honey, 
The outhouse is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. I am not pooping outside, Greg. Why don't they just get a regular size house? I... I don't know. <laughs> How'd afternoon tea go? It got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucian since he tried to... He lured Ernest down the cellar with the promise of a fine vintage and then tried to brick, wall him, brick him into the wall, right? How did you know about that? Has everyone read this story except for me? I mean, I've never heard of this story. Me neither. Lucian live-streamed the entire thing. Oh. No! It's like you wanted to get caught! This entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, it was a fun day. That Damien guy's a character, but he's really good company. And surprisingly diplomatic dad. I dig his style. See, I knew Amanda would love to sit on the floor reading Naruto's uh, fan fiction with N him. Naruto smut? <laughs> yeah, Naruto smut. You know what? Me too. That Cute. was nice. Cute. It was nice. How'd this date go? I wanna, I wanna yeah, rating. My date, my date rating. I mean, this wasn't a date. This was this fang. Oh Ojo my god. Ojo-sama. Ho. Ojo-sama means dad in Japanese. <laughs> oh nice. Jimmy's bits of jam. Oh my god. Oh uh, holy fuck. That's adorable. This game, man. This yeah, game is man. something else. I'm yeah, ready. seriously. Welcome. Eat plenty of cards for the big that. game. Yeah, I guess we just go around dating in circles. Oh, we gotta. Ah. It must be Damien. Yeah. Oh my god, he doesn't, he doesn't have a profile picture. Uh... Cause it's just DB. No, but, wait, what, what does it mean? Norbert, listen, this is you from the past? Whoa, how'd this happen? I figure you're trying to reply to this because I know myself, but this is an automated message from you earlier this morning, when it was socially unacceptable to go out and buy ice cream. I think this is, it has to be Damien, right? I don't know. His I name is know. Damien Bloodmarch. Yeah. I forgot I did that. Wait. I forgot how I did that. The future is amazing. Listen, life is short and ice cream should always be acceptable. But unfortunately, this isn't the society we live in. And it's less the society we live in and more me projecting my own anxiety about being judged onto others. But you know what I mean. Okay. By the time you're reading this, it is a certain time of day in which nobody will bat an eye at you for going out and buying ice cream. You know what to do. Be good, me. All right. That is so that weird. That was weird. I, I don't know how to I don't know how I feel about that at all. That was really random. Right? Like But it had like Damien's initials. It was DB. It was Damien Bloodmarch. But Damien has a profile picture because when we messaged him he had one. Did he? Yeah. Fucking giant. I don't know. I that don't was know. so bizarre. That yeah. was like fucking weird. Yeah. You know what? Oh wait. You know what? I've heard a treat. On the way home I decided to stop off and grab some ice cream. Which I fully plan to eat directly from the tub. <laughs> Good for you, Norbert. Yeah. I spend a lot of time trying to figure out which type of ice cream I like to eat directly from the tub. Rocky Road? Pistachio? Oh, Amanda's probably going to want some too. Better get two tubs. She loves cookie dough ice cream. I love cookie dough ice cream too! Aww. Hey, hey mister. mister. Oh, it's oh, Okay. I turn around to see Ernest, leaning up against the wall of the convenience store. Ernest! Mm. Ugh. You're cool, right? Oh, dear. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You, you want to say no way? I, uh... I don't know. I, Norbert is pretty concerned with being cool. I think we can just say, I'm cool. 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 But uh, I don't see what that has to do with anything. Well, if you're cool, you'll help me out, right? Uh, help you out? There's no fire involved, is there? Just clouds. What? So if I give you twenty dollars, will you buy me Elik? Oh my God, he's trying to vape. Sam, <laughs> hard no. I, I, I would not. I'm not doing this for this kid. Are you kidding me? I like Hugo too much. Yeah. Also, um, this kid's an asshole. I don't like this kid. Yeah. Ernest, what what's e liquid? It's like uh, Gatorade. You know, electrolyte liquid. I get it myself, and I'm banned from here for trying to run a grift on the cashier. A classic fiddle game. You know the deal. Oh, if you're talking about a ba balanced electrolytes, then I got you, little buddy. He's gonna go into the store and buy you dead-ass Gatorade. Oh, but he, this is playing on his dad ignorance. He doesn't know what e-liquid is. He doesn't know he's gonna vape it. <sighs> Fuck. No, but he's gonna go and he's gonna find... If he thinks that it's like Gatorade, then he's gonna go into the store and find the refrigerator and get Gatorade. Oh, that's true. Like, he thinks it's just a slang term for Gatorade. He thinks e-liquid is slang for Gatorade. At least that's what I would think if someone was playing with my dad ignorance. I would just come up with a bottle of Gatorade. And, and he told him that he's just banned from the store. He doesn't tell him that he's underage. Yeah. So there's, like, nothing to be suspicious about. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I didn't know you played the fiddle. 
Just ask the clerk for blue crayon zapple vortex. He'll know what it is. Uh, I want to say no! Oh, man. You do it? I pick up a tub of pistachio ice cream for myself and a tub of cookie dough for Amanda. I search around for some blue crazy voice star starter, <laughs> but I can't seem to find any. I turn to the cashier. Say, where's your finest e-liquid? Uh, behind the counter, you got an ID? First of all, my daughter is older than you. Second <laughs> of all, I'm flattered. I switched shampoo recently. Is that taking some years off? <laughs> look, you need to be 21 to buy vape juice. Your hair doesn't look a day over 20. Oh my god. Wow, that's a compliment. Wait a minute. Are you just trying to butter me up to buy more ice cream because it's working? I glance outside and spot Ernest staring at me. Double wait a minute. So you're telling me that e-liquid is not a sports drink? It's for vaping. Ernest is watching us intently through the window. I better go give that kid a piece of my mind. <laughs> I see. Okay, look, I'm I'm gonna pretend you didn't just try to trick me into buying your you buying you the old Baphomet's cough syrup <laughs> and go inside in here to purchase my ice cream. I won't tell your dad if you promise to scram. And stop vaping. You'll get popcorn lung. True, you will. What mm. is popcorn lung? Uh, it's like a thing that happens to smokers. I don't know the exact like scientific cause of it, but I have seen a, a, like a lung that has popcorn lung, and it looks exactly like popcorn. Gross. It's yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. Stop vaping if you're young. Yeah. Stop. Vape if you're above the legal limit. Yeah. That's why it's there. And like, do your research on it. Know what you're doing to your body. At least if you're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. Mm. Uh, what if I give you twenty five dollars? Go home, Ernest. As I'm walking back inside, Ernest calls after me. You can get popcorn lung from microwave popcorn, you know. No, you can't. I no longer trust this child, but the mere notion strikes fear into my heart. <laughs> <laughs> you can please continue eating po microwave popcorn. I'm glad you'll that, be fine. I'm glad that went the way it did. Yeah. Because if there was a choice, like, will you buy it? Will you not? Like, hard no. Yeah. I was definitely gonna like. I wouldn't do that. You're such a good person. No, fuck that. You're such you a shouldn't good be person, vaping, babe. little little bastard. <laughs> Those little trick people. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. I go back inside to complete my purchase with the good cashier. Thank you, kind sir, for your time and generous hair compliments. You got it, bud. Don't call people that. Yeah, what are you, Wolverine? Yeah. I glance out the window to see Ernest still outside. Looks like he's talking to some other poor sap. Guess I should go outside and save this guy some grief. Wait a second. That's definitely a cop. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. I grab my tubs of ice cream and bolt outside. Oh, my God. Ernest is already face down in the hood of a squad car. Oh, Damn, he's oh getting my God. Oh, my God. He's black. This could be bad. Oh, is he getting profiled right oh, now? Oh, my God. Ernest, did you seriously try to get a cop to buy you e-liquid? Do you... Uh, uh, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, uh... Do you know this kid? <laughs> I'm friends with his dad, my daughter goes to school with him, never a minute. Friends with, friends with his dad. Friends with his dad. Uh, yeah, we live in the same cul-de-sac, I know his dad. L listen, he's a good kid, and... I'm this boy's father. What? If it's actually Hugo. Oh. oh! I turn around and see Robert walking up the street towards the convenience store. Ernest, what are you doing? I want a lawyer. First of all, good first instinct. Remember you're not required to answer any question from a police officer without a lawyer present. You're this boy's father? Yes, sir. Ernest liked to lash out at me like this ever since the accident. In, in capital letters. <laughs> oh. Um. I don't like talking about it. That's fine. Mm. Robert gets a wistful twinkle in his eye. I... It all started oh my God. seven summers ago. My hair was long back then. New metal was still in style. Oh my God. Ernest and I were down by the, in the Florida swampland, scavenging for it. Sir, I can leave you to take it from here. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, officer. Whoops. Ernest, come along now. You'll be cleaning grout from the rain gutter for a week thanks to this transgression. The officer gets in his car and drives off. I'm stunned by how cool Robert was just there. Thanks. I want to say... Richard? Ouch. <laughs> Don't mention it, Hemingway. <laughs> gotten plenty of trouble. Gotten pl got in trouble plenty of times in my life. Just trying to do a good deed for the day. Will you buy me e-liquid if I give you twenty dollars? Child, I will end. <laughs> 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 like, I will call the cops on you, Ernest. I swear to God. Oh my god. Hey, Norbert, will you walk Ernest home with me? Sure. It's, this ice cream's fucking melted. Ernest runs ahead, presumably so he won't be seen with us, which is a thing I think kids do. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was his age. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I wasn't as dumb. Seems like he tortures his dad. Hey. Seems like he tortures just about everybody. 
He even stole your wallet. Oh, fuck. What? No, he didn't. I packed my back pocket. I packed the rest of my pockets. He stole my wallet. Oh, my God. Why are you doing this to yourself? I... What? Uh. Robert points at the tubs of ice cream. One of them's for Amanda. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna eat both of these. Oh Damn, God. Robert! <laughs> so judgmental. Sometimes I buy two cups of ice cream and it lasts me like a couple of weeks. You know, like, I'm a do- yeah. Maybe I'm not gonna eat this all in one night, dude. Dude. Maybe I'm, not, maybe I'm not even gonna eat this right now. Maybe I just restocked. You're just mad because you fucked me and then God. told me to get out. Yeah. I, I have no qualms with the quantity of ice cream you purchased. It's a perfectly respectable amount of ice cream. It's the quality that I'm talking about. Mm. You work hard, Norbert. You're a good dad. Don't you ever, don't you think you deserve top shelf ice cream? But these were on sale. If you're going to treat yourself, go big or go home. Real vanilla bean, real pistachio. You deserve it. Wow, it's being really nice now. All right, do you want to pause for a quick second? Our burritos are here. Um, Our burritos are here. Like, like, right this second? Like, he's out the door? He's arriving soon, okay, which okay, is okay, always the, on the, the fence. Episode's almost over. We arrive at the cul-de-sac and the ERS runs into his home. That boy is the reason we don't have prizes and cereal anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> catch you around, Norbert. Robert tossing me a wallet. My wallet. I catch it with a surprised look on my face. Mm. I stole it back. Mm. Well, I mean, you, you were going to ask for it? Yeah. Keep it in your front pocket. Or use a chain like back in your ska days. Wow. Smell you later. Wow. Roasted. See ya, Robert. Okay. I hate him. I don't, you don't like You don't like him? I don't like him. I think he's cool. I don't like him. He saved Ernest. He reminds me of people. That I do not like. Okay. He okay. reminds me of people who are nice, but you don't want them in your close personal circle. I'll go back inside my home, ready to spend the rest of the night with two tubs of ice cream. And also Amanda. And next time, we're going to eat some burritos. burritos. Welcome. And then we're going to get back, we and back. we're going to go on another date. Going back to fucking more daddies. Going on another date. Going on another date. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, mm. Bye. Bye.